Hey, my name's Joey Henderson. I'm with iConnect Training. Today we're here at the AHR Expo. And what I'd like to show you here is our TU-805 Tabletop Refrigeration Training Unit. Now, as an instructor, what I really love about this unit is it's totally portable. You can take this to shows, you can take this to career fairs, you can take it to other schools, uh, elementary schools where you're promoting your program, and they absolutely love it. You can also take this and put it in the center of a classroom and all the students can see it at one time. We have access ports here so that you can hook up our I-manifold system to it and put it on a display or even put it through a projector for students to see. Now we've got the major components. We've got our compressor. We've got our indoor coil. We've got our outdoor coil. We've got our metering device, which is an expansion valve. But then also we've got in here a liquid receiver. We've got a liquid line filter dryer and we've got a sight glass. And over here, we've got our controls for it. We could even take an amp draw, show them how to use your amp meter through here. So I'm gonna turn these on. So we have a power switch. This turns on our indoor and outdoor fans. And then if you watch right here, the students get to see live action of what's going on in the refrigerant. So here we can see it liquid phase. And here it is, come back as a gas. And as it starts to settle down and run through there, they'll actually be able to see not only the refrigerant as it goes from a liquid to a gas, but also as it's bringing back the oil. Had many, many students, once they see this, as an instructor, what I do is I first show them the basic refrigeration cycle on the board. We cover that, but then from going from a drawing, we go here to real life and they can see everything in action very quickly. The other thing I like to point out too, is that back here by the fans, we have a controller that actually controls the fan speeds. So I can actually slow it down. And that's gonna, of course, affect our refrigerant flow. And then I can even, as we slow it all the way down, I can even turn it completely off and show what happens when we lose airflow across the coil. What's really nice about this is because both these fans have variable speed control, you can create all kinds of different airflow scenarios. A dirty evaporator coil, dirty condenser, a completely stopped up filter, or what happens when we just lose the fan completely. With this system here, because we have the taps, you can have also your temperature sensors on there and you can see what subcooling and superheat is doing as well. And they can measure that real time. With the electrical side over here, you can also show them the compressor. You can have them take it loose and we can ohm out the windings of the compressor. And you're not gonna show them how to hire, uh, wire up a start kit for this compressor as well. So this, we've got airflow readings. You can measure velocity as well as CFM out of each of the coils. And you've also got electrical side to it. And of course you got the refrigerant. And the biggest thing about this is that we've got a way for them to see right here in front of them exactly how the refrigerant system works. One thing I want to point out here too is that as an instructor, the only limitation is your imagination. 